to be real with you, that has been one of the things, Carlos, at times that have made me feel like I want to walk away. Really? From from the from the show? Yeah. 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 You never said that to me. I knew this day would happen. Honestly, truly, I knew this day would come. The day when Melody would say she thought about quitting the show. Because dealing with a breakup or a divorce is hard enough. We all can agree with that. But dealing with a divorce not only in the public on national TV, but having to work with a person you are divorcing from? To me, that's downright unfathomable. I hope I said that word right. But yes, you know what I mean. Like, that just could be a lot on anybody's emotional, mental even physical health to have to deal with this person that you see every day that's the cause for your pain but also have to work with them because you know for the regular everyday person you can go to work to kind of get away from home life but dang with home life and work intermingle that just has to be a lot and people would say things like well male should you know, go ahead and do it, go on with the show, like, it's for money, I would do it for my ex, but at the same time, how much money are you willing to receive or get at the expense of your mental health? That's my thing. I just feel like, how can you heal? But they say you can't heal in the same place that broke you. So that was my whole thing. But luckily, I learned that there are ways to navigate having to deal with an ex that you work with. You know, it's actually quite common. In this article that I was reading on Forbes.com that said, according to a recent CareerBuilder.com survey, 39% of workers have dated a colleague at some point in their career. Now that shocked me. Almost half up to half other people have dated somebody that's a co-worker. And it also says, and 30% of these people went on to marry the co-worker. Now, this is shocking because for me, I have never, ever, 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 in my smoky voice. Don't ever, 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 ever dated a co-worker and that's probably because I have one to be at work to begin with I mean you know I want to work I'm a hard worker I like to get the job done but I mean like I don't go to work to be social like I actually don't want y'all to know me I don't like when they be talking about we're a family we're a team um no we're not we're all here to kind of get a paycheck now some people are here to mix and mingle in a jingly beat but that's not me like I be trying to go back home because that's where my stuff is. Remember that whole um, Good Burger when Monique said that when Dexter tried to like ask her out. I'm that kind of person. Like, no, I don't. I don't want to go to the work happy hours. But you know, you kind of have to do that nowadays because then you don't want to be seen as one of those people that don't care. But yeah, so I was just kind of shocked at those statistics. But what about you guys? Am I the only one out there that has not dated a coworker? Like, am I just kind of outdated or something? Have you guys ever dated a coworker? Are y'all part of that 39%? Let me know. Drop down in the comments. But honestly, like I said, I could definitely understand how it could be challenging dating or I can understand how it could be challenging going through a divorce with the person that you're divorcing on national TV and that's technically, quote unquote, your coworker. But as Carlos had explained, Melanie and the rest of the cast don't have to do anything that they totally feel uncomfortable with doing or shooting scenes that just are going to bring them more stress than what's necessary. We make sure that you, you are in a position to where no one's telling you what to do or where to be if you don't want to be there. Because, because at... So I just kind of wanted to do this video because I did learn that you can successfully navigate working with an ex in the workplace. I had no idea. You know me. I'm always ready to quit a job. So I thought that was going to be the answer. Like, if you just broke up with somebody, you need to find another job. But surprisingly, I didn't come across that. And I found some tips that I feel like will not only help people that um are working with somebody that they dated that that's now an ex. It also can help like your everyday person, whether you're single, married, on how to basically navigate the workforce, even when you're in like an unpleasant, uncomfortable situation. So here's the first tip. Focus on your career. Now, this is helpful to whether you are in a relationship or not, whether you're recently divorced, going through a breakup or not. When you are at work, Focus on your career. It's just one of those things that will benefit you in the long run professionally. 
but especially if you are working with an ex. Not only does it help you move on faster because you are putting your attention on something other than your ex, but the added attention you put on your work can only benefit your bottom line and your boss and higher ups will be impressed by your new dedication to your work and also the company. So that's number one. Focus on your career when working with an ex. And that's exactly what Melody did, as we can see. With her having this platform on Love & Marriage Huntsville, she's been able to leverage that into a singing career, as well as have her own skincare line, as well as dibbling, dabbling, and hosting, and acting. Like, this girl does it all. And even with all that on her plate, she's a mom, you know, of four beautiful children. So she has plenty to keep her mind occupied, Um, on her future, the things that she wants to do for herself instead of the ending of her marriage with Martell, which is now in her past. So that's number one, focus on your career while at work and especially if you have to work with the next. Number two, stay professional. Easier said than done, I know. But try not to talk about the breakup with other co-workers. You never know. Just kind of like how on the show, like, the other people on the show like Martell somewhat, so it's kind of hard for them to 100% side with Melody, even though they know what Martell did was bogus. You know what I mean? They they come to have their own relationship with, with them. So just to keep the peace, to keep it professional, to kind of keep everybody comfortable at work, it's kind of best not to talk about the breakup with your coworkers. And besides, it's about people just trying to be like nosy and gossipy anyway, so they don't need to know. But if you must interact with your ex, keep the conversations about work. And also treat your ex like a fellow coworker, a fellow employee instead of an ex. You know, speak to him like you would any other person in the office. Don't purposely try to avoid this person or make your hard feelings known. Like I said, like people can feel that energy in a workplace and it just don't feel right. So, you know, try your best to Keep a smile on your face. Put a smile on your face. Make the world better. You know what I mean? So try your best and act on the face if you can. I mean, faking it till you make it kind of deal. This is what, you know, I'm, I'm basically hitting at. And eventually, you know, faking it till you make it actually works because you're acting in the way that you want to be. And eventually it's no longer an act. It's exactly who you are. You know what I mean? You can see your ex. He could be with somebody else and it won't even phase you. You know what I mean? So always stay professional. And number three, when working with the ex, do you always be happy? When I was doing research, I found this quote that summed this up perfectly. It's from myexbackcoach.com. And it says, one of the most attractive, if not the most attractive position to be in is where you have such a great life full of friends, potential, success, joy, optimism, fun, peace, and strength that your ex breaking up with you didn't destroy you or rattle your core. Not that you care about being attractive to your ex, but it's a time, but after a breakup, it's a time to focus on being more attractive for you. And there is nothing more attractive than going up in all areas of your life and being better than what you were before when you even met this person. How about that, you know? But seriously, even though, you know, a breakup hurts, I get it, I understand, I've been there, we all probably been there. But focusing on the things that you enjoyed before the breakup is a great way to get back on your feet. Uh, It's a great way to get back to the person that you were and making that person like a 2.0 version of yourself. And I can honestly say, I feel like that's why people hate Melody. I feel like it's the fact that she decided to move on four kids in tow and to realize, like, I want something better than this. Because, you know, a lot of people already put her in the corner and be like, ain't nobody going to want her with those four kids? Um, It looks like somebody do want her because she also stated on the Carlos King interview show that she is dating. So don't do that to her. Um, Am I dating someone right now? I am. Um. Do people know who it is? No. And don't do that to any woman, okay? Women are great whether single, married, with kids, without kids. We as dope people. And guess what? Men are the same way. So it doesn't really matter the circumstances. I really learned that every L to one person, somebody else can turn into a W. So don't do that to her. Don't do not do that. We're not about to do that, all right? <laughs> so 
I really feel as though that that's why people be mad because male, when guys say go, male left. And you can't hate on that. You know what I mean? People should always be striving to live a better life for themselves and the people that they love and the people around them. You know what I mean? So if they need to go and do something else, I feel like we should congratulate them. We should be happy for them, not trying to keep them stuck. And sometimes I feel like that be going on on the show. So don't be hating on her. You know what I mean? Don't be mad that her next level probably will be her best level, okay? That's what that's what they be afraid of. <laughs> but other than that, let me know what y'all think. I wanted to do this video to showcase that if you are in a situation where you have to work with the next, you can do it. Don't be like me. My advice would have been to just end it. And like I said, I felt like Melanie should have been left the show based off of how like emotionally sensitive I am. Like I don't want to work around my ex, but I learned that you can successfully do so you can work with the next keeping certain things that we went over in mind but what do you guys think would you work with the next or you like me you be ready to quit hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no more no more because no. i always feel like i can get another job you know so i probably would have quit and then it kind of goes back into why people say don't date your co-workers even though melody and martell's situation is different because they're on the tv show i'm pretty sure you know it's a little different but and now I get what they're saying because it ain't easy, you know? Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Man,